started. Admitting all. All right. Hello, everyone, and happy Thursday. Welcome to 50 Strong and our uh, exclusive Employer Connect featuring the Fiserv team. So we're super happy that you're here. Uh, thanks for joining, and we're really excited for you to hear about all the exciting opportunities at Verizon. Um, before we get started, Candy's going to drop a poll just because um, we want to see where you're from, um, if you're in school, if you're Oconus, Conus, all that good stuff. So love to see that when you have an opportunity. So today you're going to be meeting with the Verizon team. You're going to be learning all about different types of pathways, including skill bridge and direct hire opportunities. Um, and we just want to, one, thank you for being here and let you know that we have some upcoming events. Um, as you can see, we have, Candy has done some phenomenal work on our website and we have some awesome events just added. And Don't we tell have, everybody I'm the webmaster, Chantel. I did not say that. <laughs> I supervisory, all those good things, but it looks phenomenal. And <laughs> we have our upcoming Employer Connect next week on uh, Thursday, the 29th at 3 EST. The Verizon team will be there as well. And you'll have a great opportunity to connect with all of these uh, incredible employers. All right. So transitioning. If you're just getting out, you got out six months ago, you got out five years ago, you're a military spouse, just navigating civilian employment in general is, it can be incredibly challenging. I've, I've walked through that myself and the majority of the people that are on this call have been through those experiences themselves. The whole point of these Employer Connect series are for you to be able to talk directly with the military talent leads at these companies and gain direct exposure, right? That's how you learn about um, roles that you might not have even known existed, which I guarantee after the Verizon presentation, you're going to find out some incredible things that you didn't know about them. So we're just really happy you're here regardless. All right, a few things that I want to talk about before I pass it over to the Verizon team is uh, there's three tools that you can utilize on the 50 Strong website. One is our key employment pathways page. This is a high level overview of the career paths that each employer participant has, Verizon included, they're on there. And so it just gives you an idea of one, the best way to contact them, whether that's an intake form, um, just double click on each column and you'll be able to see um, key locations that they're looking for, things like that. Next, we have our military affiliated student opportunities. So this is for new grads and for those who are currently enrolled, um, you'll have um, part-time work on there, internships, and then uh, full-time new grad opportunities. These are getting updated constantly. So definitely check that out. And then Candy will drop the links for all of these here shortly in the chat. And then lastly, um, if you are a transitioning service member and you're interested in SkillBridge, we have nearly 6,000 listings available um, on our app and on our website um, where you can filter by city and state level um, to be able to determine what the best location for um, the role that you're looking for is. So definitely check out all of those. Um, one thing before we get started, in order to move to the breakout rooms, please make sure that you have Zoom 5.3.0 or later. Um, if you have struggles moving into the breakout rooms, don't worry. Candy and I are going to be in this main room the whole time and we can help put you in the right room. All right. Now, before we pass it over, I want to show you that there's going to be a, about a 20 minute presentation from the Verizon team. And then we're going to open up the breakout room so you can talk individually. So we have corporate and global services with Kedrick Harris. We have business and consumer roles with Steve Weston. And then global network and technology is going to be run by Brittany Becker. And then, of course, we have um, just general Verizon info and skill bridge opportunities to be discussed with Payola and Michael McCoy. And with that said, I am going to stop my screen share and pass it over to Paola for Verizon's presentation. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Um, can you see my screen? Let me see if I can hide all these things on here. All right, gotcha. so I, I can't see you. So Michael, if I'm, <laughs> if I'm not good, you let me know, okay? Um, but first, I want to say thank you so much for joining uh, today's call. Thank you so much to the 50 Strong team for, for giving us an opportunity to come speak to you guys today. We're very excited. Today, you guys are going to meet our team. Like Chantel mentioned, we do have breakout rooms, and each breakout room has a specific recruiter that recruits for that particular business group. Um, so I'm going to go over what those are and what that looks like. 
I'll provide you with a company overview. And then we're going to get to the fun part about breaking uh, the breakout rooms. And then lastly, we'll do closing remarks. So with that being said, let me go ahead and introduce you to our team. Um, it looks like I'm the only one with a picture with a network line, uh, but no worries. They're here, you'll see them uh, virtually. You'll get to recognize them. So first and foremost, I'm gonna go ahead and start with Michael McCoy. He is our associate director and he oversees all of our military and emergent talent programs. Um, then me, oh, hi. <laughs> and then I'll, we have Brittany Becker who is an Air Force veteran and she's a recruiter for the Global Network and Technology. Next we have Kedrick Harris who is an Army veteran and he is a recruiter for our corporate and global services. And last we have Steve Weston who is an Air Force veteran and he recruits for business and consumer. Some of the key things that we like to let you know in the very beginning is how do you work with us and how can we best assist you find your happy home here at Verizon. So first and foremost, there is a little bit of homework that you have to do on your end. First, you have to review our careers page and somebody in the team is going to go ahead and post our careers page on the chat. Then you have to apply to the position. So for you to be considered for any of our roles, whether that be our direct hire or through SkillBridge, you have to apply. And the reason why we say that is because if you want to speak to one of our recruiters, you might miss an opportunity of being able to be um, considered for that role if you never apply. So if there is a position like say, in, in, for instance, in cyber, those are the positions that fill in quickly in about two hours of posting, we have over a hundred candidates in there. If you're waiting to speak to some one of our team members, then you're missing out an opportunity of being able to be considered for that role. So that's why we keep saying apply for the position before you even reach out to us. Uh, we wanna make sure that you are setting yourself up for success and that you are taking on that opportunity. So once you have applied, we ask that you send us an email and our email is below, vcmilitaryrecruitmentatverizon.com with the job ID. So if you go to our careers page and you look at the, the posting, you'll see it says R hyphen one and followed by seven numbers. That is your job ID number. We also ask that you send the resume that you used to apply to that position. And then one of our recruiters will be able to um, review your application, provide you some feedback on what the application and the status is. And then we will work with the hiring team to consider your candidacy for that role. So it's very important, like I said, to be able to work or for, for you to do your homework from steps one, two, and three. Once that happens, notify us, let us know, and then we're able to um, work with you in helping you find a happy home here at Verizon. So now you may be wondering, what is Verizon? Well, I'm, I'm here to tell you that Verizon is more than just a, um, a cell phone company. We are in the business of serving our customers. And we can't do that without having core values, right? So very, in, very similar to a lot of our core values in our military, for instance, in the Marine Corps, we have honor, courage, and commitment, right? So when I look at a place like Verizon, I wanna make sure that my core values align to what the company is. The culture is something that I wanna be part of. And here at Verizon, we have these five core values of integrity, respect, performance, excellence, accountability, and social responsibility. And these these are embedded in every single V-teamer in our company because we want to make sure that we're not just doing right by the customer, but we're also doing right by ourselves, that we're helping our communities, that we're supporting our clients and our stakeholders. So how do we serve our customers? At Verizon, we have different career paths. We have five business groups that support all of our customers and our clients. Um, and I've mentioned it before, every recruiter is aligned. So you'll hear business, consumer, corporate, global network and technology and global services. Now each recruiter is aligned to one of these business groups. And in order for you guys to, to hear more about the awesome opportunities that we have, um, if they're not populating on our careers page, we're posting positions daily. So it's important for you to join our talent network just to receive communications from when opportunities pop, um, that come, up, come um, available, and make sure that you create job alerts. Right, so if you're creating a job, job alert daily, a position may be post and then you're able to apply first and then email us uh, once you've applied. 
Um, and then you'll be able to hear more about um, the opportunities that we have currently for skill rich, particularly uh, once in our breakout rooms. But I'll be providing you with a very high level overview of what that is. Uh, but feel free to ask your questions or ask about opportunities through direct hire or skill bridge in our breakout rooms for the recruiter. All right. So um, one of the key things I keep saying is business groups, right? So Steve Weston, um, he is he supports our business and consumer group. And right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven opportunities available through our skill rich programs. On the right side of the screen, I've broken it down to what those what does business and consumer um, are. And it's typical roles like global enterprise or public sector, small business, inside sales. And on the right left side of the screen, you'll see those, what those positions um, are and where they are located. If you're interested in more direct hire positions, we encourage you to go to our careers page. Next, we have corporate and global services. And typically this business group hires for finance, human resources, legal, public policy, strategy, supply chain, and sustain sustainability uh, to include our marketing, media, product marketing, and experience and insights. Um, so if this is something that's interesting to you and you would like to speak more to our recruiters about, make sure that you join Kedrick's group. And then lastly, we have our global network and technology. This is supported by Brittany Becker. And currently we have these opportunities available. So if you see um, some opportunities in your location or uh, things that you're interested in, please feel free to join Brittany's uh, breakout room. And some of the roles that we typically fill here are technician, fleet mechanics, and building maintenance. So one of the things that you'll see um, that I've from these three slides is Verizon is more than that cell phone company. We support our customers in many different ways. And I want you to think of Verizon as the installation that you're just coming out of, right? You don't just have your infantry. You have your, your motor T. You have your, um, your S3. You have your, your comms people. You have your legal people. You have your finance. You have your human resources. All of that is what also the Verizon has. So the opportunities are endless here at Verizon when it comes to finding your career path. Now, now that you kind of know what the business groups and how uh, Verizon operates, what do you need to do to apply? First and foremost, we encourage you to browse our careers page and type in military fellowship or skill bridge for opportunities in that particular program. If you're looking for direct hires, you can just type in uh, solutions architect or just go ahead and just click enter and every availability uh, position will be populating for you. You can tailor it to the location as well. So once you've done that, you read the job description thoroughly and pay attention to what we're looking for section. And the reason why you have to be very careful, you have to pay a lot of attention to what we're looking for section is what is that position looking for? Do you need to have experience in SQL? Do you need to have experience in, um, in uh, maintenance? You need to have, that's what that's going to be. And there's basic qualifications that that job description needs to, that you need to meet in order for you to be considered. And in the bottom of what are we looking for, you have even better than. What that means is if you meet every single bullet under what we're looking for on the very on the bottom of even better, you don't have to have all of those bullets, but you have to have some to make you more competitive. So it's just finding the most ideal candidate for that role. So make sure that you pay attention to what we're looking for. And then once you're ready to apply, make sure that you tailor your resume to that particular uh, job description. If you're using a general resume, your experience may not be, um, you, may, you may be missing out an opportunity because you're not putting in the relevant experience for that particular position. Most importantly, make sure that you also double check attachment, attachments and you self-identify as military to get veteran preference. The reason for that being is that because our recruiters um, are, we, we are federally mandated and our recruiters are able to go into these job requisitions to find uh, military candidates, we're able to skip non-military candidates. So if say I wasn't a veteran, I'm just your typical uh, Jane Doe, I apply and then Michael McCoy applies our team is able to skip me to go to him because he's a veteran. 
Now, if Michael McCoy applies and then Steve Weston and then Kedrick and Brittany, they have to go in order of that application. So it's very important for you to utilize your veteran's preference and select it and self-identify. And when you're attaching your, your attachments, your, your documents like your resume and anything else that it's asking you, make sure that you double check because we've seen resumes that are blank. We've seen resumes that the formatting is just, um, it, it's, it, it didn't format or it didn't translate correctly. So everything is off um, and we're gonna need to kind of rewrite your resume for you. And then once you've done all of that, you send us an email with that job ID to the email that I provided, that will be provided in the chat um, if you don't happen to catch it here. What you don't want to do is use an email that you hardly apply with. So if you're using, uh, I don't know if how relevant this is now, but like back in the day you had Yahoo, you had to have Yahoo to create a fantasy football team, right? If that was the only time that you used that email, you wouldn't be getting notifications from us. So you'll be missing out on opportunities. So make sure that it's an email that you check on the daily, not an email that you kind of forget about. You check on the daily. Make sure your voicemail is not full or it's an unassi unassigned voicemail. And I'm gonna tell you an experience that I had. Before I came here to Verizon, before I, I they called me to, to tell me, hey, would you be or make the offer for me? My voicemail was full. And I was lucky enough that I had a friend here to tell me, hey, they're trying to reach out to you. Can you like make sure your voicemail or you answer the call? So I would have missed out on a great opportunity here at Verizon had that person just not notified me, hey, they're trying to reach out to you. Um, so don't be me, you know, <laughs> make sure that your voicemail is not full. And then lastly, don't use that general resume that I mentioned. You want to make sure that you're providing as much information to that recruiter so that they can they can say, oh, yes, man, this Paola, is she is an awesome um, candidate for this role. She is just exactly what we're looking for. <clears throat> we have a very competitive process. So during the application process, as I mentioned earlier, it's a first in and first out. So again, if you're not selecting veterans preference, you uh, will be reviewed as you apply. But if there are, if you select veterans preference, we can skip non-military um, to be review your, your application. Typically the recruiter's phone screen lasts about 45 minutes to an hour. So make sure that when you are called by the recruiter that you're setting some time in a, in a quiet place like this or where there's not a lot of background noise and you're able to answer the questions for the recruiters. And what we do is we use the behavioral interview uh, question uh, method. So what we ask of you is in order for you to um, kind of con uh, con um, be clear and concise in the way that you are responding to those questions to use the STAR method, situation, task, action, and results. So if they ask you a question of like, tell me about a time that you had a conflicting priority, how did you manage that? So if you don't use the start method, you're gonna be going all over the place and you're gonna lose the recruiter or the hiring manager who's interviewing. By having that method, you're able to concisely tell them exactly what you did and what the result came about. Now the hiring manager interview is gonna last about 45 to 60 minutes. They're typically video interviews. So again, make sure that you are in a quiet place, that there is no distractions. There is nothing um, in the background that is very distracting or uh, that you, nobody, you don't want anybody else to see. So why Verizon? <clears throat> Verizon prides itself as, be, as being the top military friendly company. And we've been top military friendly company for the last six years. We have over 8,000 veterans here in Verizon. And just think about it, 8,000 veterans in Verizon. There's companies that don't even have 8,000 employees. So that's a lot of veterans that we have here and that we support our community and we care for our community. We have 8% of our veteran population um, or the veterans make 8% of our veterans population. And we have over eight, I'm sorry, 5,000 veterans in our employee resource group called Valor. Um, so you may be wondering, what is an employee resource group? Well, an employee resource group allows you to be able to kind of uh, learn more about the culture at Verizon, be able to, to see other peoples in their walks of life. So we have 10 employee resource group here at Verizon and you can be part of one or all 10. I myself, I am part of four. And what I like to do is throughout the year, I rotate just because it allows me to meet new people, network, allows me to kind of see what they're working on. 
what, how can I provide for my community? How can I help support my community? How can I help Verizon? And how can I help myself for my development and my growth, right? So for those of you, uh, make sure that when wherever you decide to go, that they have an employee resource group to help you uh, be the person that you want to be. And not only that, we have a total rewards package. So we have, and this is a, a very beautiful chart that they created for us, for you to just kind of see big picture of everything that we offer from our compensation, which includes our base pay, our incentive programs, our stock together. We receive stock from Verizon and recognition. You can be paid for being recognized. Uh, we provide financial programs and resources to help build your wealth for short-term and long-term fiscal goals. There is work-life flexibility. So you're able to um, take time, generous time off, like your paid time off, your sick time, your vacation. Starting off at Verizon, we have 15 days um, that you can take of vacation. And we have uh, five days of PTO and then 20, uh, 40 hours of sick time. So that is a lot of time that you can take um, off. And if you decide to go on, um, um, take a leave of absence, we have that too. We have insurance, lifestyle programs. Um, for those of you that want to continue your service and go into the reserves, we do provide 36 months of military gap, a uh, pay differential. Uh, Michael McCoy is one of our biggest advocates. He himself is still in the, um, in the National Guard and he is, he'll speak, how he'll speak about this program and I can tell you that it's just a great program to have to continue to serve but also serve your community and you know be rewarded be re be compensated for it um we have social responsibility so a lot of the things that we do is giving back to our customers and to our community we have programs that help schools make sure that they have the network uh, so that the students can learn uh, hospitals and local government and federal government and, and and places like that like we not only want them as customers, but we know that we can help out our community by providing services for them, by offering volunteer um, opportunities for our employers to help their communities. And, and lastly, but not least, and this is not a inclusive of everything that we have, this is just a quick snapshot overview of everything that um, we potentially have. So uh, our well-being. So we have programs and resources to strengthen our physical, mental, and emotional health. So it's very important that we take care of ourselves as well, and we're not just giving in to our employer, right? So that's that's one of the things that I love about Verizon is just the flexibility and, and just what it gives me to be able to help and, and support my family, but also give back to my community. So I've said a lot. Um, but for those of you who are wondering, hmm, I don't really know what I want to do now. I don't know how my MOS aligns to a particular job title or a particular role. You are in luck because today I'm here to talk to you about our military skills matcher and what that can do for you. So basically, our skills matcher is a custom tool that suggests jobs based on your functional interest, location, and branch of service. So all you got to do is go to the link. Um, someone in the team is going to go ahead and populate on the chat and just go in there, put in your information, and then you're going to receive the, they're going to ask you for additional details, um, additional like certifications or relevant experience. And then once you've done those two steps, it'll just populate everything that you can apply to at Verizon. You can filter it by location. You can filter it by what your wants and needs are. And you'll be able to kind of get a better understanding of how your military experience or even your education can, can uh, be transferable and translate into an opportunity at Verizon. And then what you can do is just take that job description, put in Verizon, throw it in LinkedIn, and then network. That's another great thing to do. Offer coffee chats and ask people, hey, do you mind connecting with me to learn more about what you do at Verizon? I saw this position and I'm kind of interested in it. But don't forget to apply. <laughs> and don't forget to let us know that you, that you applied. So that's just how awesome our military skills matcher is. So now um, I know that you guys are just eager to talk to our recruiters. So just a quick overview of who are, are gonna be in our breakout rooms. Um, so business and consumer, it's gonna be Steve. For corporate and global services will be Kedrick. Global network and technology will be Brittany. And then just for Verizon General or Skillbridge, it'll be myself and Michael McCoy. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop sharing my screen. 
Hey, Paola, real quick, before we y'all we do that, can I just share with y'all, uh, your team specifically, half the folks are here with us at 50 Strong for the very first time. 10% are Oconus now. About 25% are E5 or below. And almost half are currently in school or some kind of training program. 33% are on active duty and about half are already separated. Anyway, I hope that's a little bit helpful for y'all to know before you head into the breakout rooms. Oh yeah, definitely. I appreciate you for sharing that. Um, so team, you know what to do and guys, you know who to reach out to. So I'm going to go ahead and stop sharing my screen and let um, Chantel Hi. do her magic. All right. <laughs> okay. Yes. I'm going to, um, open the breakout rooms here shortly. I am just dropping in um, some links for our Candy and I's um, LinkedIn, as well as our upcoming events, just so you know. So we're gonna open the breakout rooms. They'll be open for an hour. We're gonna send 15 minute reminders and increments if you wanna switch through, okay? Um, and then the last five minutes, come back here. We'll talk about giveaways and wrap ups and just um, remind you of our upcoming events. Um, if you have any questions, you're not really sure how to get to a breakout room. Um, please just go ahead and stay in the main room. Candy and I will be here and then we can help um, navigate you. But the breakout rooms are open. If you go into a breakout room and you don't see a Verizon rep in there, just give it a minute. I'm sure they are on route. On route? On route. Anyway. But they're open. Okay. Thank you all. We'll see you in there. All right. All right. Y'all have fun. And feel free to drop drop any um anything in the chat if you need help moving. And if you're not sure where to go, I suggest going into Paola and Michael's breakout room. Um, because they'll probably be able to better direct you. Good afternoon, ma'am. May I ask you a question? Absolutely. All right. Um, I have a I have a disability that um, prevents me from possibly being able to drive, and I'm so I'm just in the market for remote only jobs. Um, who would I? One, are there any remote only jobs available through Verizon for a an IT rate? Um, or security rate, and also um, which breakout room would that be? Scott, my suggestion, and just to clarify, Candy and I are both with 50 Strong, so we're not employed by Verizon, so I, I don't want to answer on their behalf. My suggestion would be to go into the breakout room that's listed Verizon Info and Skillbridge, and then talk to Paola or Michael, and they'll be able to uh, better help direct you. Okay, thank you, ma'am. And if you need help moving, just let us know. And then Jamie, um, okay, you found it. Never mind. <laughs> but if you have any questions, you can come off mute or mute or drop it in the chat. I need help moving to a room. Yes. Um, kind of just floating. You're floating. Okay. <laughs> Where are you? Because I don't think I see your screen. What's your title? You know, and I don't know because I'm doing it. I'm, oh, yeah, yes, got it. That's it. Where do you want to move to? Uh, the business operations. Oh. I gotcha. Give me yeah. one second. Uh, yeah, my 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 most vivid memory of an early Fifty Strong event, like a year plus ago, um, was a very entertaining lady who crashed in somehow on lady gaga some of yes <laughs> on, on the sessions and like you know you're paying attention and you're engaging and you're learning and all of a sudden some person like joins you know the the the, the video chat and they're like you know dancing and music and and i don't remember what she was dressing but it certainly wasn't appropriate and uh and, and it was just it wasn't shock it was more like you know, just like amazement, amusement. Like, you gotta be kidding me, man. Like, is this really it happening? It may have been amusement for you. For me, I was like, oh my gosh. And then she was really smart. She kept popping in and out of breakout rooms. So I couldn't yes. answer. 
to yeah. get her out of the meeting and she was yeah. doing it in all these breakout rooms. So then my phone is blowing up. I mean, I think I must have aged 10 years. <laughs> I remember you were very apologetic. I could tell you were mortified by the entire experience. Whereas I think from a participant standpoint, it was like, it was like, man, that was epic. That was awesome. Like, you know, I didn't you expect that veterans. at all. What's that? I said, you can't shock veterans. No, no, no. And, and we are often, you know, very easily entertained. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, if you ask me for the one thing, un unfortunately, I guess that's probably, the, that's the first memory that comes, it, you know, that comes up is the, uh, the very uh, great Lady Gaga uh, impersonator. <laughs> yeah. I have, uh, I have, I have anxiety just thinking about this. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I probably shouldn't have brought that up. That's all right. No, it was super funny. I mean, in yeah. hindsight, it was funny. That day, it was not funny to me at all. Right, right. Yeah. But, you know. Uh, yep, yeah, that's great. That's awesome. Um, Anyways, yeah. No, like I said, I, I, I am so incredibly happy with, uh, yeah, with, you know, with where I landed. I, I could, you yeah. know, I can't, I can't predict how long am I going to be here. I could certainly see this being my place for, you know, my home for a long time. Uh, you know, you always kind of wonder how the hybrid work model is going to evolve over time. I mean, I, I know there are people within the company and I understand why, uh, you know, people who think that, yeah, we probably need to have people in the office more. We need to get that collaboration going, that teamwork, et cetera. I actually agree with that. Um, and, um, you know, I, I, I go in once a month. Oh my gosh. All right. Um, thank you everyone for joining us today. I hope that you, I've heard there were some really cool questions being asked. Um, so I'm super excited that you were able to get a lot of those answered and I hope you learned about some opportunities you didn't even know existed. Um, a couple things I want to talk about before we end today is whoever you were talking with in the breakout rooms please ensure that you engage and you follow up with them. So if they told you, you know, they went very specific about how to apply for a role. So if you apply for that role, get that job ID number, make sure to follow through. Verizon, if you want to drop any of that information again in the chat, so it's fresh, please go ahead and do so. One thing I want to remind everybody on this call is um, Verizon will also be at our Employer Connect session happening next Thursday on the 29th at 3 Eastern Standard Time, 12 Pacific Standard Time. We have a ton of different employers. If it's your first time um, at any of our events today, it's going to be the same format with the exception it's going to be like 20 plus employers and you get to choose whichever breakout room you want to go into. OK, um, and then. People who came back a little bit early got a heads up on this, but we're going to give up to three awesome 50 strong hats away. If you make sure to tag 50 strong in a post regarding anything exciting that you learned about Verizon, um, something uh, really cool that a recruiter told you about, make sure to tag us, um, you know, sooner than later, right in the next day. Um, and we'll make sure to get an awesome hat out to you. Um, and then there is a survey at the end, if you could just take a minute to do that. Um, and then before um, we close out for the day, if the Verizon team um, wants to sign off or say anything or has any giveaways, please feel free to do so. Hey, uh, this is Michael McCoy. So I first off want to say thank you all for taking some time and, and spending some time with us. Mm -hmm. My team is is dedicated to bringing Verizon veterans into Verizon, but uh, I'm sure they all said this, and, and most likely, if they didn't, I'll, I'll say it here again. We support and are dedicated to the two Vs. And so first and foremost, we want to make you successful as veterans, as military spouses, as you transition, as you career search, as you go through the process of finding your next meaningful employment. So my room got other recruiters emails they got other recruiters mm -hmm. links they got all kinds of other stuff we want to make sure that you are successful we are here for you and if we can't help you because not every person is going to be the right fit for verizon um, and so we want to make sure that you get the opportunities the experience and the understanding and know-how from us because you're going to transition out of the military once we transition out of the military with each of you every single time so we have the experience of thousands of transitioning service members that we want to pass forward and give to you all. So uh, we're here to support you, to provide some great experience and understanding uh, and make sure that you're successful. So we really appreciate you spending time with us. Um, and Steve is going to tell you about a couple of giveaways we have. Again, just like Candy said and Chantel said, tag us 
Uh, do it sooner rather than later. Um, hopefully none of us frozen. You got an embarrassing picture of us to include in that. But if you include pictures, please include pictures, uh, some exciting stuff. Tell us what you learned. Uh, we want to hear back from you. I think everybody got all of our emails and our, our LinkedIn's and we just want to stay in touch and we want to help you be successful. So thank you all. We appreciate you. Uh, Steve, tell them about what we have to give away. So one time and one time only, this is my first time, by the way, doing this at all the 50 strong events I've been to. I've never put up swag. It's always been Michael. So I have three hats to give away this bad boy right here. This is the 2023, 2024 black camo hat from Verizon. It's one of a kind and I wear it at all times. You too could have a hat just like this. If you tag 50 strong tag us. I'm going to be looking for the three top posts that really go over not only that you attended, but what did you learn? Did you learn anything? Did you network with anybody new? What did Candy say that was important? What did Chantel say that was important? What did Paola and Michael say that really resonated with you? Share your experiences with the other service members out there. That is the greatest benefit of networking. All right. I just also want to point out really, really quickly, um, Steve, if you can show your hat again, um, we partner with a veteran owned organization. So we don't just support the military by bringing talent to Verizon. We support the military by helping others um, as well, promote their business. So uh, this is an awesome uh, um, uh, veteran. He is uh, he runs call for fire. Um, so if you guys want to check out their, their website, and I'm sorry that I'm plugging in some other employer here, but, you know, we're all here to support each other in any way that we that we can. So I just want to give and a guess little what? Point. Call for Fire makes 50 strong hats, too. Yeah. And we yeah. met them because of the Verizon military team. Hence the power of networking, guys. <laughs> Well, thanks everyone for coming. Make sure to engage, make sure to connect, follow up, and then we hopefully we'll see you next week. Awesome. Thank you, everybody. Have a great afternoon. Thank you, guys. Have a good night. Thank you, McCoy. Like I stay on because I'm always afraid to end it too early. <laughs> Watch, he'll have something funny to say. Oh, I'm sure he will. <laughs>